Our company is part of a holding company for the production of medicines in Ulanovsk. At our enterprise we have various equipment for the production of medicines, from a peltizer to an automatic line for self-adhesive labels. At the end of the year we modernized and started replacing the equipment that was morally and technically obsolete. I have been working as a chief engineer for 15 years, and I know all the technological processes in the company very well. I chose new equipment to replace the technically unsuitable one myself, coordinating it with the management before purchase. It was not an easy job, there was a lot of equipment on the market, many processes had changed and become automated. I also planned to buy equipment for packing penicillin vials into plastic blisters. Plastic blisters are packaging, made of plastic material with a cellular structure, designed for fixation of vials in one plate. Penicillin glass vials are used for dispensing powders, granules and liquids. We use this type of containers in the production of microbiological preparations. I chose modern equipment, controlled by means of LCD screen, and ease of operation as the main criteria in choosing a dispenser. Our vials with green caps were formed into blisters of six pieces each. Since I have already chosen many different machines for our company, I have a great experience in the selection, and contacts of some reliable equipment manufacturers remain. I began contacting the manufacturers by telephone to see if they could produce equipment for packaging in plastic blisters. First I contacted a company in Germany, which offered me automatic equipment for packaging ampoules into PVC blisters, but they specified that the entire process of delivery, customs clearance and installation of the equipment, is not included in the price. The delivery could have been delayed and I declined. Then I contacted the company from Russia. She said that they do not make this type of machines, but if we can wait, they are willing to design and manufacture equipment for packaging penicillin vials into plastic blisters, but it will not be until next year. I was not prepared to wait that long, so I declined the offer. Since I could not find a manufacturer of the equipment for packaging penicillin vials into plastic blisters, I decided to take another way and consult with professionals who work in the field of pharmaceutical equipment supply, and maybe suggest another option for the machine. I searched on the internet for an intermediary from Russia, because I once had a bad experience, delivering equipment from a Chinese intermediary, when they brought us a line for packaging powder, but there were no documents for installation or technical passport. It took us a long time to set up the line, we consulted with the manufacturers on the phone, although they were reluctant to talk to us. I chose three machine suppliers on the internet. I looked at the firm's time in the pharmaceutical supply market, the company's website, and the machine's delivery terms as criteria. All of the companies I called to make sure of the professionalism of their managers. A specialist from one company said to wait for five minutes, but she never listened to me. I didn't like such attitude to the customer. The manager of another company from Kaliningrad talked to me politely, asked questions about the material and size of bottles, the desired production time. Five days later I received 10 variants of machines from them, and an offer to make a choice on my own. I understood that they did not have a professional approach, and would not help me in my search for equipment. The last, third option of the middleman from Moscow, turned out to be successful for me. The manager, a man, talked to me like a professional. He asked me specific questions about the desired capacity of the machine, the shape of pills to be packed in blister, told me about the delivery terms. At the stage of consultation, he suggested an automatic machine for packing penicillin vials into plastic blisters, which I was able to quickly coordinate with the company's management. Within a week we concluded a contract for the supply of equipment. A month after the conclusion of the contract, we received the equipment for packaging penicillin vials into plastic blisters. The manager provided us with the manufacturer's guarantee, equipment technical passport, drawings and operation manual. We have made installation of the machine. Penicillin vials with green caps were fed from the receiving bin by means of an auger into the self-adhesive label section. The machine allowed the date and expiration date to be simultaneously applied to the label. The penicillin vials then had to go into a plastic blister. We ended up with a plastic blister for six penicillin vials of the microbiological drug. We were satisfied with the equipment for packaging penicillin vials into plastic blisters. In the future, I plan to contact the manager of this company to purchase analytical equipment which should be purchased for the production of the drug in gelatin capsules. I am sure that he will choose me a high-quality equipment. Experience has shown that no matter how confident you are in your abilities, consulting a specialist will speed up the solution of the task at hand and free up time, which can be spent to your advantage.